guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video it's been a while since i actually like talked to you guys so i wanted to come do like a quick introduction to this video before we get started so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic bodice pattern so a lot of you guys have been asking me how do i make patterns when i want to make clothes for for other people since i make a lot of my patterns with my own clothes so today i'm just going to show you guys how to make a simple bodice pattern and in this way if you learn how to make this pattern then you can make any garment for anybody all you need is just to take the measurement of the person so that's basically what we're doing today first of all before we start i really want to ask you guys to please turn on your notification because i have noticed that more than half of the people subscribed to this channel doesn't even get a notification when i upload a video and it's quite sad because i put a lot of effort into my tutorial so it's like a pity if half of the people up in here and not even getting notified so please make sure it is turned on so you can be notified every single time i upload a video so with that said let's get started with this video okay guys so these are all the things you're going to need for this drafting of the pattern so you're going to need a pattern paper you're going to need a ruler you're going to need the curly uh, ruler the ones you use for the armhole and necklines and just basically the ones you use for curves you're going to you need some uh, paper scissors and you're going to need a marker you're also going to need a, me a measuring tape to, to take your measurements but that's like kind of obvious you need to make sure before you start is make sure that the fact the paper you're using is on fold so my paper is on fold and right now we're going to start so we're going to start with the first line and this is just going to draw like an horizontal line here and that is just going to be the shoulder line just on top and it doesn't I don't you don't need to know the length you're just going to draw a straight line from there to there like so you can see it the line maybe I should use like a red marker so you can see it properly after that we're going to take the vertical measurement so you're going to take you're going to mark three measurements so you're going to mark your best point your waist point and your hip point so a standard boys point for like a regular body is going to be 10 so and I'm using my inches so this is like 10 inches so here we're going to mark we're going to mark um, 10 inches and then your waist point from your shoulder down is 16 you're going to mark that as well hips point from your shoulder is going to be 24 inches and after that we're just going to extend those lines you're just going to draw a straight line like so make sure everything is straight like this so after this step we're going to move to the upper part of the pattern and which is going to be the the neck and these are also standard measurements so for the width, you're going to mark here in three inches, here, three inches, and then you're also going to mark eight inches. And this is, the eight inches is the uh, measurement for your shoulder slope. And then from that line down, you're going to mark one inches down, like so. And then you're just going to go ahead and connect these to this here coming down and this is going to create as you can see this is going to create the neck i mean the shoulder slope okay guys so after you've done the shoulder slope we want to go ahead and determine work on the armhole so what you can do you can go ahead and measure measure around your armhole but what works for me is i basically take the measurement of my bust i divided that i divide that by six and then i add one inch seam allowance and then the 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 result of that that's going to be the measurement of my armhole so basically your bust divided by six plus one inch if that makes sense be marking that 
my seven inches here at my eight inches measurement like so and then I'm just going to draw a straight line down down and also here straight line and this is going to be our upper bust line like so so that now we can start our measurements so my bust measurements is nine inches so I'm going to put that on my bust measurement it's nine inches Sorry, nine inches is here and I'm also going to be adding one inch seam allowance for just ease so I'm going to mark my nine inches and I'm going to add my one inch seam allowance and I'm going to go to my waist my waist measurement is eight I'm also going to mark eight inches and I'm also going to add one inch seam allowance mind you you don't have to add seam allowance if you're using a stretchy fabric and also the seam allowance is very important if you're also going to be adding a dart so which we're going to be doing for this pattern so hence the seam allowance and then we're going to move on to our hip measurement my hip measurement is 10 and we're going first of all mark 10 and then we're going to add one inch seam allowance one inch seam allowance and right now you can go ahead and connect and then connect these so from here till there really super easy to there from there till there and then you can determine how long you want it to be and if you want it like a uh, like a straight i'm going to just go for a straight here like so this we're going to work on armhole you want to go ahead and determine the middle of this so this is a seven so the middle is going to be three point three point five which we're going to mark here and then from in that from that we're going to mark uh one a uh, quarter of an inch inwards because this is going to be the arm the front arm hole and it's different from the back from the back arm hole and then you just want to go ahead and draw like a straight line from here coming down like this and after that you're going to take your French curve ruler and you're just going to curve it like so from there all the way to there like so and then you're also going to repeat the same step for this as well from there all the way to there and this is going to be the front and the the front armhole and the back armhole now we're going to work on the neckline so basically i want my neckline to be pretty wide so i'm going to go four inch in i'm going to mark four inch here and i'm also going to go four inch down and i'm going to mark four inch so you can definitely go ahead and determine how you want that and this is going to be the measurement of my front eight and my back one i'm just going to go one inch down because i want the, the neckline of the back is different so we're just going to go ahead and connect those with this so this is the back neckline and this is the front neckline like this so here you can see the difference the, the back and the front neckline so right now we're going to work on the darts we're going to work on the darts so for the darts you need your best pan your boss pan measurement and that's basically a nipple to nipple so you're going to measure your nipple to nipple and mine is eight inches i'm going to divide that by two which is going to give me four inches and i'm going to add half an inch to that and that's going to give me four inches so basically you're going to go ahead and mark four and a half inches on your waist which i've done here and you're also going to mark four and a half inches on the bust line which is also here and afterwards you're just going to draw a straight line from there going down 
like so and then you're going to for the for the darts you're going to mark half an inch remember we added one inch to the waist for the dart so we're going to mark half an inch here and half an inch on the other side and then you're going to go down from the bust line we're going to go down one inch down i mean one inch down like so and now you can connect those marks together so from here we're going to go like so there and then we're going to repeat the same step for this part like this so and from the bottom what you want to do is my measuring tape so remove this and then from the hip measurements you're going to measure two inches up so from there we're going to mark two inches up is this here it's two inches and then you're just going to go ahead and connect those to this so this to there So there you have your dots done. So, and this is the front dot. If you're wondering how to do the, the back dots, it's basically you're going to mark from the chest line, and this is for the back, the back piece. Yeah? You're going to mark one inch down, which is here. And then this is where your dots for the back is going to start. If that makes sense so make sure you have that in mind so basically that is all the that's actually all you need to make making a basic pattern remember one last thing that I want to tell you is that you need to add seam allowance even though remember we added one inch seam allowance here but right now we already have the dart which is one inch inch seam and what which is the one inch seam allowance so you want to make sure that you add whatever you take from the dot so since the dot is taking already one inch you're going to add an extra inch so you're just going to go ahead and add an extra inch to to the mesh to your pattern when you're cutting or you can add it right away so that you don't have a problem later if that makes sense so right now you can go ahead and cut your pattern piece so basically a pattern piece is done you want to discard this piece because we don't need this plate this piece anymore and we're going to go ahead and cut out our pattern piece so remember this is actually the front and back piece in one pattern paper so you want to make sure to first of all cut out the back armhole first trace that and then you can cut out the front armhole if that makes sense so right now we're just going to start by cutting the back armhole so don't forget Remember, this is the shoulder, so we're cutting down from the shoulder slope. This is the actual shoulder now. And then, this is the back neckline. That's what you should be cutting. So, at this point, this is what you should have. So, you're going to go ahead and trace this pattern piece this is going to be at this as is like this this is the back piece and after you're done tracing this piece then you can go ahead and cut out this piece out if that makes sense so now you can cut out the armhole the front armhole front armhole and also now you can cut out the front neckline as well
so when you're done let me try to zoom out you can see the entire thing so when you're done this is what you should have at this point obviously then you should have a front and back piece at this point so yeah that is actually very very easy way to make a bodice pattern it's a tutorial i hope you guys uh like it i hope it was easy to understand if you miss something or you don't understand please comment below and i will try to reply your comment as soon as possible so yeah that's the video for today make sure to like share comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet and like i said in the beginning of the video make sure that your notification is turned on so you don't miss any notification from me thank you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye